What is tennis elbow? Lateral epicondylitis, commonly known as tennis elbow, is swelling of the tendons that bend your wrist backward away from your palm. A tendon is a tough cord of tissue that connects muscles to bones. The tendon most likely involved in tennis elbow is called the extensor carpi radialis brevis. Tennis elbow is usually diagnosed in both men and women between the ages of 30 and 50 years. What causes tennis elbow? Tennis elbow, as the name implies, is often caused by the force of the tennis racket hitting balls in the backhand position. Your forearm muscles, which attach to the outside of your elbow, may become so from excessive strain. When making a backhand stroke in tennis, the tendons that roll over the end of our elbow can become damaged. Tennis elbow may be caused by Improper backhand stroke Weak shoulder and wrist muscles Using a tennis racket that is too tightly strung or too short. Other racket sports, like racquetball or squash. Hitting the ball off-center on the racket, or hitting heavy, wet balls. However, many people who suffer from tennis elbow do not play tennis. The problem can be caused by any repetitive movement. Other causes of tennis elbow include Painting with a brush or roller Operating a chainsaw Frequent use of other hand tools on a regular basis Using repeated hand motions in various professions, such as meat cutters, musicians, dentists, and carpenters What are the symptoms of tennis elbow? The following are the most common symptoms of tennis elbow However, you may experience symptoms differently at first, you may have pain, burning, or an ache along the outside of your forearm and elbow. With time, the pain gets worse. If you continue the activity that caused your condition, the pain may spread down to your wrist, even at rest. Pain may also persist when you place your arm and hand palm down on a table, and then try to raise your hand against resistance. You may also feel pain when you try to lift and grip small objects, such as a coffee cup. A weak grip is another symptom of tennis elbow. The symptoms of tennis elbow may resemble other medical problems or conditions. Always see your healthcare provider for a diagnosis. How is tennis elbow diagnosed? Your healthcare provider can usually diagnose your tennis elbow by a physical exam. In some cases, you may certain tests, such as an X-ray to look at the bones of your elbow to see if you have arthritis in your elbow. Magnetic resonance imaging MRI, can show your tendons and how severe the damage is. An MRI of your neck can show if arthritis in your neck or disc problems in your spine are causing your arm pain. Electromyography EMG, of your elbow may show if you have any nerve problems that may be causing your pain. How is tennis elbow treated? It's important to avoid the movement that caused your injury in the first place. Treatment may include Rest and stopping the activity that produces the symptoms Ice packs, to reduce inflammation Strengthening and stretching exercises Anti-inflammatory medicines, such as ibuprofen or naproxen If these treatments do not work, your healthcare provider may talk to you about Bracing the area to keep it still for a few weeks or use of a special brace with activities Steroid injections to help reduce swelling and pain. A special type of ultrasound that can help break up scar tissue, increase blood flow, and promote healing. Surgery, rarely necessary. What can I do to prevent tennis elbow? Keep your arms flexible and strong. Avoid repetitive movements. Warm up before exercising or using your arms for sports or other repetitive movements. If you play a racket sport, make sure your equipment is right for you. Home remedies for tennis elbow. Self-care tips for tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis. Tennis elbow, also called lateral epicondylitis, is a repetitive stress injury. It involves inflammation of the tendons that hold your muscle and bone together on the outside of your elbow. Although it is an injury associated with playing tennis, other forms of repetitive forearm movement can cause it too. Rest your elbow. It may seem like a simple treatment, but it's effective if there is too much irritation or inflammation in the elbow area. Resting your arm and not subjecting it to the movements that triggered the inflammation and pain will help.
Ice your elbow. Ice packs on your elbow can help reduce inflammation and pain. Don't apply ice directly to your skin as this can damage it. Wrap the ice in a cloth or towel. Hold the ice pack in place for about 15 to 20 minutes at a time, 3 to 4 times a day. Compress and provide support. The RICE protocol is often the top recommendation for injuries like tennis elbow. R for rest, I for ice, C for compression, and A for elevate. Compression helps reduce muscle fatigue. Wrap a compression bandage around your elbow, tight enough that you can feel the compression. After applying the bandage, you should be able to move your fingers well. Gentle exercise and stretching. While the A in rice is usually for elevation, we can use it for gentle stretching exercises. Extend your arm straight and put your hand as if making a stop motion. Gently pull your fingers back towards your arm for about 15 seconds. Relax and repeat. Over-the-counter pain relievers. If you can take over-the-counter, OTC, pain relievers like Ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin, and Naproxen, Aleve, these medicines can help relieve the pain by reducing inflammation. Be sure to follow the instructions to avoid side effects, like nausea. Brace your elbow. Braces that protect your elbow and give it support may also be helpful in reducing tennis elbow pain. Although braces are available in various stores, it may be best to talk with a physical therapist or your doctor first to ensure you get the right kind of brace and that you know how to apply it properly.